Hi, good morning. Morning, Gordon. Great to see you, Paul. And uh, I know you because we've linked up on Jesus Live, the county schools resource. You've also come along and spoken at the net to our men's group, but most of the church don't know you. So can you take a minute or so just to introduce yourself? Yeah, I'm Paul Woodman. I live in Southampton. And uh, yeah, as Gordon says, I do a lot of work in secondary schools. So I'm chaplain to three of the secondary schools in Southampton led by the Oasis Academies. They've had the joy of the Jesus Live presentation uh, through there many times. And then uh, my family, I'm married to Susanna. I've got two grown up children, one at uni and one about to go to uni. So uh, it's interesting times with the lockdown and all. Brilliant. Um, Paul, I know you've got lots of fingers in lots of pies in uh, various charity organisations of Southampton, but we're going to focus in on your work with the homeless. So can you give us a bit of information about that? Yeah, we've been leading some conferences in Southampton the last couple of years around people sleeping rough. The problem has been growing uh, up and down the country, as you know, but in Southampton as well, people do tend to drift down south for the better weather. And uh, particularly over these last couple of months, there was a big initiative, Everyone In. I don't know if you saw it, Gordon, by the government, that they didn't want anyone on the streets anymore, wanted everyone in hotels. And so it's been in the news over the last couple of weeks, the things that have been happening. Uh, so what we've been doing as, as a church and as churches in Southampton is those people were given bed and breakfast in hotels, but there wasn't provision for lunches and dinners uh, for them as well. So as a collective effort, we've been giving out close to 2,000 meals over these last uh, 10 or 12 weeks to those people who have been given bed and breakfast accommodation. So it's been a massive effort, uh, and truly, I couldn't have done it on my own, so it's been a team effort from across different churches and uh, other communities, community groups in Southampton. Okay, as we come out of lockdown, um, for these folks who have been in temporary accommodation, are they straight back on the streets? Are there only halfway houses? Um, what, what, what is the work of the charity to continue helping these folks? Yeah, in the UK, it peaked at 15,000 people in hotels and bed and breakfasts who were homeless. So that's a huge number. And there's more government money to try and sustain that, that accommodation. And also some of those 15,000 people have been moved on into to better accommodations. In Southampton, the move on figures have been pretty good. But what we are seeing in Southampton is a slow drift up in numbers back onto the street. So I went out last weekend and saw 20 people that were sleeping rough. And so we've got teams going out every weekend at the moment with soup run and sandwiches uh, that are helping them and just check on their welfare. Brilliant. If folks want to check out the work that's going on, is there a website that they can go to? Yeah, we've worked hard on a partnership website. So it's called Street Support. Again, it's a UK website, but we've got our Southampton page. If you've got friends in Portsmouth, there's a Portsmouth page as well. And so the two cities have got their own page on this thing, streetsupport.net and then forward slash Southampton or forward slash Portsmouth. And it's got up to date news on there and, and the work of the partnership. Okay, now practical ways to help. Um, obviously finance, everyone wants money, whatever organisation you're part of. Um, but are there other ways we can uh, help or support the work? Yeah, financially, it's been quite a cost. So I've been fortunate enough to gather some money to be able to provide those lunches and meals. And we've been working with some restaurants as well to help provide food into the hostels. Uh, in terms of volunteering, there's a community cafe that's up and running down in Central Hall, Southampton. There's a soup run that happens. And then we've got a little welfare walk as well on a Saturday, just seeing who's out and about and what needs they have. So if anyone would want to volunteer in those things, that would be fantastic. And then do pray, do pray, you know, because we can see the, the final end of that rung where people are on the streets, but it'd be great to pray that actually the solution is solved before people fall off the cliff to use the analogy. So further up the line that the fences are put in, that people are protected and safeguarded and don't get to the point of sleeping rough. So pray for all those that are working in hostels, local authorities. It's a very challenging job uh, to try and manage. Okay, Paul, appreciate your time. And as a Thank church, we'll be uh, praying for you and hopefully supporting you in your work. Thanks. God bless, Gordon. Nice to see you. Lord bless you. Take care. Bye.